Hey everyone, what's going on? Voodoo Five Twelve Ninety Two, and this Dave is the man, the myth, and the legend, Dave. <laughs> yes, Blue Haze Fifty Four, right on YouTube. Right. Blue Haze Forty Five on PSN. You know this guy. I played with him online in a bunch of my videos. He's done guest commentary on things such as Kills on Three Multiplayer, Marvel, Marvel Versus, uh, and you get to put a face to the name and the voice. So. Anyways, uh, welcome to the first episode of a show we are calling The Cross Examiner, uh, where basically it's going to be a video series with Dave and I, uh, where we each um, write five questions for each other um, to answer, and we don't know what these questions are, we don't look at the questions, and basically they're kind of, you know, an interesting thing we wanted to do, kind of a QA and a with each other to ask things, you know, probably mainly about gaming, but not always necessarily. Um, so, uh, with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and start, and Dave, you're going to ask me the first question. Okay. So, so, bring it on. What game or what game series has the most sentimental value to you, and why? The most sentimental value? Hey, mm. And what, what game captivated you? Just like, you know, like, you know? Well, I would, say, I would say for me that would be the Bioshock series. I mean, uh, ever since I played the first game, I... Uh, you know, I've loved the series. I've loved really everything about it from day one, the story, the atmosphere, and everything. Um, As have I. And, you know, it's pretty funny because, you know, that was a game that, again, it was kind of a slow time, and I was like, you know, I've heard about this game, whatever. I don't really know, you know, what it's all about, so let me go pick it up, used. So I bought a used copy and played it, and I'm like, you know, this is one of the best games I've ever played. I played the first one three or four times, and then I pick up the second one, and uh, for some reason people didn't like the second one. Um, I love the second one. Um, I think it was multiplayer that was bashed by it. Yeah, I like that too, though. Mm -hmm. I actually like the multiplayer. I don't, you know, I actually played all the way to the top level mm -hmm. and got my platinum trophy in it, so. Um, it would have to be that world. one. I don't know why that game captured me so much. I guess because I just love the whole, like, the story behind it is so in-depth and, uh, you know, just really well written and, uh, and all the games are just really fun to play. And uh, I'm looking forward to the continuation of it, so yeah. Well, continuation, what do you think about the next one, Bioshock Infinite? That one's, that's going to be interesting, because obviously the first two games have been underwater, and when you think Bioshock, you think underwater. So it's kind of hard for me right now to piece, you know, uh, Bioshock with not being underwater, but, you know, uh, Am I really happy about it? Not necessarily, because the whole underwater thing is what captured me so much. But, you know, it could be nice to have a different atmosphere, a different kind of gameplay style. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. But uh, I'm excited to play it. There wasn't so. even a question. I just thought I'd add it. No, well, that's fine. <laughs> it's go. all about spontaneity. Already opened it for you. Okay. Dave, your first question. All right. Bring it on. It says, uh, as you know, I've made a video recently talking about the... Uh, the common trends of these game publishers basically um, requiring you to use these online codes to access all the online content. Uh, you know, EA started this last year, and now games like, or you know, publishers like THQ, and now Warner Brothers has just announced that they're going to start doing it with like Mortal Kombat and things like that. So, what do, what is your take on these online codes? Are they mm -hmm. good? Should they keep doing them, or do you think it's ripping us, the consumer, off? Well, I take it as a bad thing only because online really only came up. Like, online gaming pretty much sparked with Call of Duty and, like, a few years ago with Modern Warfare. And before that, like, on the PS2, it was such a hassle to do online. You couldn't even, right. most people didn't even do it. And I think now publishers are trying to make a quick buck, realizing that online gaming is getting so huge, so that you can pay for it, and that was just make more money. Right. So That's really what I think. That so I don't think just it's kind of taking advantage of... Oh, yeah. Definitely. I don't think it's right, but okay. it's what you got to... I guess that's what they feel they need to do to get more money in their pockets. Alright. Well, fair enough. Business, right? Yeah, exactly. Alright. Switch it back to you for question number two for moi. Alright. Let's prepared. see. Ready, the, willing, this name is my it. favorite one. Alright. Um, bring it. Do you think trophies have made a positive or negative impact on gaming? Hmm. This could be on X. Well, so Xbox. trophies and achievements, basically. Yes. Um, positive or negative effect? Um, I don't. I don't really know if they've made you know a, an effect one way or the other. I think. Um, well, because in a way they 
add the longevity of games. But, by replayability. Right. I, I can see that. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, to be honest, I've, 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 uh, you know, uh, I don't really know the right term for it, but, you know, trophy grabbed mm -hmm. or, you know, trophy spammed or whatever. Trophy horse. Trophy horse, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, I've, I went back and, and, and replayed some games and stuff, but honestly, you know, I found myself when I was replaying the games, um, not really, you know, replaying them because I enjoyed them, but basically just because I wanted the trophies. Right. And, you know, it, it's interesting to bring that up because there is a difference between, you know, the trophies on PS3 as, as opposed to achievements because trophies on PS3, you really don't get anything. You get the trophy, right, but you can't really do anything with it. Well, you know, with Xbox, you get gamer points right. with your achievements, and you can actually use the gamer points, mm -hmm. you know, on the Xbox Live. So I, I can see for Xbox... Um, you know, it, it, it being a bigger deal because maybe they want to go back and get these achievements so that they can get, you know, the, the gamer points. Um, but, but I don't know, it, you know, that's an interesting question as far as a positive or negative effect. Um, Could be both. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know how much impact it has on, on you know, people buying games just for... I'm sure it has. You know, those things, impact on probably. But, uh, I don't know, I think maybe when when these systems first came out, and it was kind of a new thing, you know what I mean? Like, people were like, mm -hmm. wow, you know, I can get um, awarded for certain things I do in the game. You know, that's pretty cool. So, mm -hmm. when it first came out, people were probably like, oh, that's really neat. I want to go get all these things so people can see them. But I think after now that the consoles have been out a few years, it's kind of dying off as far as people, you know, pouring out the trophy yeah, and achievement systems. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, Top of the question. Okay. Well, can always do an on-the-fly question. Well, maybe, but I'll save it. I for need now. to do a time check. Okay. Okay. We got about eight minutes left. <laughs> Part one. Here you go. My turn. <clears throat> I think the question is genius. Okay. I don't know if this is yes. technically true, but it seems like it to me. Okay. Right. Uh, it says. You know, it seems to be kind of widely accepted that Xbox Live is the overall better online experience over PSN. Um, I don't know if that's a fact, but it seems like to me that people would kind of agree that it's the overall better experience. Right. Um, but of course, you know, the deal with that is, is Xbox Live is not free. It costs about $60 a year, mm -hmm. um, while the PSN is free. So people have arguments back and forth about that. So, a couple of, you know, two-part question here. Right. First of all... Are you one of those people that agree, or do you think that Xbox Live is the better overall experience? And uh, also, would you be willing to pay for the PlayStation Network if it were to improve to the level of an Xbox Live if you think that the Xbox is better? Well, I think you pay for what you get out of it. Like, like and if PSN is free, you're not expecting some amazing things out of it. Well, Xbox Live, if you have to pay for it, you get more content. Like achievements, like you were talking about, how maybe it's not for, you have to pay for it, but you get achievements to get stuff online at, on the store. I, I don't know how it works exactly. It's not an Xbox, but right, exactly. But PSN is free and it's okay. But like I've gone to a friend's house a long time ago and seen them playing Xbox and it's look nice. Like the even if it's you pay for it, the layout is nice and it looks like it looks like it's worth the money if. PSN changed to where it was higher up standards and you get more for your money, I, I think I'd pay for it. Yeah, I mean, you gotta understand also with Xbox, you know, they pay for everything, they get, they seem to get everything ahead of time, yeah, they you get, know what I mean? They get, they get the, DLC. the DLC, I mean, they got the Fallout New Vegas DLC three months before we did on Everyone signs with Microsoft. And, uh, you know, so. <laughs> That's the next thing, right? An Apple, yeah. an Apple uh, yeah. game, hey, you might be on to something, right? As big as uh, Apple's getting. Maybe that should be a question for our next episode. Would Do you, you think Apple will come out with something? Would you pay for it? PSN? Yeah, I definitely would. I, I, I mean, you know, I mean, for sixty bucks a year, it's like the price of one game. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I, believe me, everybody who knows who watched my PS3 brand videos, you know my issues. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into them, but yeah, I would pay for it. So uh, back over to you. I right. have time for a couple more before we run out of time. I'm assuming this is mine. I think so. I mean, I've been drinking this water, so I, I hope. Okay. Cool. Do you have anything? Hmm? Any sicknesses, anything? Got to no, worry about? No. All right, neither do I. Just wanted to know. All right, we're good. <laughs>
Okay. Um, five to lead your No herpes. <laughs> That's <laughs> raging crabs. <laughs> That's a relief. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'll save that question. What game system did you own as a child? And what, or what were your first system, and what was your favorite games of that system? Well, that's a good question. Actually, the first system that I had was an inherited Sega Genesis mm -hmm. from my brother. And uh, actually, I didn't play a whole lot on Genesis. I actually, what happened was I used to sit there and my mom mm -hmm. used to play Genesis. And she played all of the, the, the old classic games, the Sonic, the original Sonic. That's really cool. She played Aladdin. Um, games like that, and I used to sit on the couch and just watch her play, mm -hmm. and uh, loved it. I did actually play a little bit on it. I played um, X Men, the X Men game on it, um, for a little while, and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, that was the first console I actually owned, and you know, I didn't do a whole lot of gaming on it, but I watched my mom play a lot of games on it, and mm -hmm. uh, I think my favorite one that she played was probably Sonic. I, I, we used to sit there and, and play Sonic for hours. I still and, think that's and, awesome. And have lots of fun. So. That's great. <clears throat> we do a quick time check. Okay. Okay. I think we've got time for one more. All I'm right. I'm gonna ask you. Uh, good e. sir. <clears throat> Alright, this is a long one. <coughs> Should we split it? Well, it we did, might want to split it just for safety yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I don't want to rush it. So we're gonna go ahead and split it, and we'll be back with part two.